So it might be time for a few off-the-cuff remarks, and I don't know why I'm doing the camera this way, but let's just see. The, 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 here's the thing. Uh, part of me is thinking that I should reset and start again with the Soviets, uh, just because I don't think I've played particularly well for them, and you know, may have even had a little bias going on there in terms of my uh, you know, battle plan, selection of attacks, things like that. I think the Soviets need to have this one-two punch thing going on in their, their strategy. And we certainly haven't done that in this game. We tried to do a broad front attack, and that hasn't really worked out terribly well for us. Third Shock Army up here is pretty much a, a broken force. They have three or four uh, disruptions on them, and they have a six rating on their units, so that means they're fifth, less than 50% um, effectiveness, right? And that's gonna weigh on them, that's a minus two uh, on the CRT columns for, for every attack they do. And down here, uh, there's, there's a few with ones, and a few with two here. All these guys took two. Last turn. Don't make a mess of the stack. So they're down 33% of their effectiveness. And they're not going to take Hamburg. Hamburg uh, automatically gives you a minus one on the CRT. So let's say you had a four to one attack. And uh, so it becomes a three to one attack. And then you will lose at least one for the proficiency rating differential. So that deck brings it down to a what a, a two to one attack, and then uh, then then it's up to you know who can get their air through. Uh, the best that I can get is three through, uh, so we bring it back up to uh, what did I say two, so uh, five to one, and then the the U.S. can the best they can get through is four, which will bring it back down to one to one. So that's going to be really hard. Uh, that's a you know. It's a losing battle there, basically, uh, or a losing effort here. All along here, I think everything's pretty much okay. They've all got one or two disruptions, except down in, in this southern area here. But the thing that bothers me more than the current state of the Soviet forces is the fact, A, there's some reinforcements coming turn two for the, the Third World War. Uh -oh. NATO forces, and that I also have as the as the U.S. player and the German player. We've got uh, you know one, two. This will be back to full strength in a, a turn. Three full divisions uh, that are you know rip raw and ready to go. Four full divisions ready to go. This one's got one hit on it. I can move that back and repair it. Uh, two divisions just below, you can't see at a camera here, that can stymie the area here. And uh, and it's only a matter of time before we get some sort of counter punch going that's going to knock a big hole in the, into the Soviet attack. Uh, when I say it's only a matter of time, right, we should, we should play it out, right? Uh, but what I'm interested in is seeing just how well the Soviets can do in this game. And I don't think we're going to find that out in the gameplay that we have going here right now. I've done a disservice, I think, and tried to be too much of a broad front attack versus a, a, a more focused one-two punch style of approach to the game. And, uh, and I think if we reset, that that might be something that would be more interesting to play, number one, and maybe more interesting to you know see the... the the re repeats or the, the videos on. All right. Uh, so I think I'm going to reset. We'll see. I'll uh, think about it for a bit.